Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Our subject is business studies and our today's topic is business risk. Dear students, by the term business risk, we mean the uncertainty with respect to firm's operations, the possibility of losses or inadequate profits due to uncertain events in business is known as business risk. The uncertain events can be change in passions, change in tastes and preferences of customers, increase in competition, fire, flood, earthquake, strikes, theft, etc. These factors cannot be controlled by the businessman and these can result in decline in profit or can also lead to loss sometimes. Business risks are broadly categorized into pure risk and speculative risk. Pure risk. There are the, the, these are the negative events over which the organization has no control. These risks arise due to fire, theft, strike, earthquake, flood. There is always a chance of loss in case of pure risk. Speculative risks. These risks arise due to change in the market condition as a fresh as such as fashion, technology, change, price, preference and tastes. They have both negative as well as positive effects on the business. Sometimes business will gain and sometimes the business will suffer loss. They are in the hands of people. They are not natural. Nature of business risks. Nature of business risks can be understood as number one is risk arises due to uncertainties. Uncertainty means when you are not sure of what is going to happen in future. Common examples of uncertainty are change in demand, change in government policy, technology, etc. Business risk is due to these uncertainties. External risk is essential part of any business. A risk is an important characteristic of business, or we can say risk is associated with the business. No business can avoid risk, although the degree of risk may vary. Risk can be reduced but cannot be eliminated. Number three, degree of risk depends upon the nature and size of business. The degree of risk depends upon the type of business. For example, a business involves in fashion items bears more risk as compared to the business involved in standardized goods. Similarly, a business operating at large scale bears more risk as compared to the business running on small scale. Number four, profit is reward for risk bearing. The business earns a profit because they are bearing risk. No risk, no gain. Larger the risk, more is the profit. An entrepreneur bears risk with the expectation of earning profit. Now, causes of business risk. There can be many causes. Some are natural causes. Natural causes, as already mentioned, flood, drops, famines, earthquakes. They are not within the control of human beings. They are natural calamities. The nature causes, natural causes are such type of certain uncertain factors that human beings cannot make any preparation against. Human causes. Human causes are related to the change of loss due to human beings or employees of the organization. The dishonesty, carelessness of employees, strikes, power failure, they result in business risk. 
Economic causes. Economic causes are related to the change of loss due to change in the markets. There can be change in the degree of competition. All these have direct impact on the earnings of the business. Even change in government policies affects the business a lot. Other causes include mechanical failure and political disturbances. Methods of dealing with risks. Risk can be dealt with. Number one, firms should not enter into high risky transactions. If the firms enter into high risky transactions, there is more, more risk. And if they don't enter into high risky transactions, they, they may be less risk. Insurance policies. Firms should take appropriate insurance policies so that in case of any loss, the risk can be transferred or it can um, to the insurance company. Provisions. Firms should make provisions from the current earnings to face likely risks. For example, provision for bad debts, provision for tax. Risk sharing. Business enterprises should share risk with other business firms in case of fall in price the loss can be shared by manufacturer and wholesalers preventive measures business enterprise should pre should be proactive and adopt preventive measures to handle risks rather than reacting to the same that's all for today goodbye